I have in my previous tutorial I have shown you how to draw the layouts for pad and pad frames in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to generate schematics for the pad and pad frame layouts so first of all we'll design the schematic for pad then we'll go for pad frames so click on pad here and file new cell view so here now instead of layout we have to keep it schematic here press ok now here add a pin here use name pad and direction here keep it as input output press ok check and save and uh, we have to just ignore this warning here now go to create cell view I am going to make a symbol of this pad pin ok, okay. delete all these things check save this and close this now the second step is go for pad frames here file new cell view schematic ok now here I am going to initiate the same pad which like I used for layout also the procedure I'll go here in sense browse tutorials and the pad symbol will be here this one okay here so this is the pad I have done now uh, as in case of pad family there are multiple pins present so I'll be using a bus here so for that I'll go here and draw a bus line here and uh, use pin here which I'll give name pin since I use if you remember I use 16 pin, pins in the pad frame so I'll be defining 16 pins here input output now I'll give label here pin One more thing is here, press on this pad and go to properties. This IO change it to 1 is to 16 and uh, here display value. Okay. And uh, go for create cell view from cell view. Again, I'm going to delete all this. Second service. So this is how we did draw the schematic of pads. Now I'll close this. I will create any circuit so that I can show you how to use pad frames in that circuit so let's say I am giving it uh, I am giving file name ok so here let's draw some circuit and uh, what I will do is I will I'll take some NMOS and PMOSs so I will go to this my foundry technology which is here I'll use this one. So 
Let us move down. So I am going to give some fingers here and I am going to give some multiplex here. Okay. And uh, this length I also take, let us say, 5 micro. Okay. So this is 1 NMOS, this is another NMOS. And uh, I am going to take one PMOS also. PMOS, I will take, say, multiply okay on PMOS I also taken and uh, since I had done the layout of inverter earlier okay I didn't have symbols for that so yeah here this symbol is here okay I'll be using this also uh, there is no symbol for this here this symbol is here I'll use this symbol also here okay so this this sub is transfers you can be having different uh, sub circuits here let's say you are, you are doing uh, a design of open so th this can be open here so the next step is uh, I'll bring the pad here browse with the pad fence and symbol I'll just keep it here okay Now, next step is to give the values of pins here, labels I will say, and uh, these labels I will define for my pad frame also, so that 6, 7, 8, and for this pad frame, I'm going to use bus here. If I'm going here, I'll just go like this. Okay. So now next thing is to label these pins with uh, respect to the pad frame. I'll just go like this. Pad frame. So I have to define these pins here. So I'm I'm going to define these pins here. Let's say I'm doing pin one here, two here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it's not mandatory that every pin should be occupied there. Some may be left as a blank. So once you had drawn the, all the pins and labeled them, your circuit is complete, then showing some warnings here. Okay, so this is, I think, yeah, so this is open here, so this one I will take here, and what I say, I will use this pin here, so I am going to give it pin 12, I guess, 13, okay, there are still 5 more warnings, let me see what are they. Okay, four pins are not there, that's right. So let's go for layouts. Layout, create new. Go ahead, trial, okay. So if you see here, this is this inside, something in inside. Inverter, I'm not able to find here. Where is this inverter here? So if you can see here. Inverter is here. So 
so now here inside you can do connections here if you want to do let's say my go for inverter yes so in this it will show me where to connect so let's say two gates are connected and uh, it will show me which pin i have to go right so i have to connect with this pin 9 if you see your file also here it's connected to this pin so similarly you can do all the connections inside the pad frame this is how you use pad frames for any uh, circuit designs thank you guys